Now at five video, the parents of a young boy want you to see in hopes that it'll force change. Their son gets beaten on a school bus. Now an aide on that bus, Kiara Jones, faces assault charges. This family feels the Littleton School District didn't do enough when they first started noticing injuries on their son. Good evening, I'm Kelly White. And I'm Michael Spencer. The parents wanted to share their story and the video with your reporter Kelly Worthman, who joins us now live in studio. And Kelly, that video is so difficult to watch. Yes, it is, and the parents want to know if that doesn't make you angry, what will? You have fractured bones, a knocked out tooth, deep bruises, and immeasurable heartache. Those are just some of the injuries to at least three students, allegedly at the hands of a woman trusted to care for them. The kids take a special bus provided by the Littleton School System to get to one of Colorado's most highly regarded private schools for students with autism. Yet as their parents discovered, they say that bus was a place of torture. My sweet and loving son. Fighting back tears, a father is overwhelmed with emotion, almost unable to share the unthinkable that his little boy endured on the way to school. Had been being beaten. His 10-year-old son, Dax, has severe autism and is nonverbal, so he couldn't tell his parents that the caretaker he sits next to on the bus punches, jabs, stomps, and smacks him. The torture and torment of my sweet boy could have been stopped. Dax's mom says she noticed strange bumps and bruises on her son months ago, but Littleton Public Schools told her there was nothing to be concerned about. Then her son's injuries became worse, and that's what led to her obtaining this disturbing video of her son's unprovoked assault on March 18th. How could someone that I trusted, someone that I was so friendly with, do this to my little boy. In a letter to district families, the superintendent says an internal investigation began March 19th and they notified police. It led to the arrest of 29-year-old Kiara Jones and the unsettling discovery the paraprofessional was allegedly abusing other kids like Dax. My son does not have the ability to tell me when someone's hurting him. My son does not have the ability to tell me that he was forced to watch someone hurt his friends. Now, parents of three young students are prepared to sue, saying Littleton Public Schools knew about their abuse concerns for months and seemingly turned a blind eye. They had everything they needed to stop it faster, and they didn't. These children have been traumatized and tortured because they failed them. A failure, Jess says, that's blatantly obvious in this alarming video, one she's sharing without blurring her son's face to show what her son could not say. It's ugly to look at, but it's important um, to see how confused and afraid he was in that video. So one thing we're going to keep looking into is how the investigations played out. Both Englewood Police, the police department, and the school district all saying today they've been investigating for weeks and do worry about other victims. But they didn't make any public statements until today. However, these parents, Mac and Michael, have been raising concerns since September. And Kelly, we know you've been looking into this extensively. Is this the only case? Well, sadly, it's not. This is Littleton is actually the third known district to have similar cases. There was another in Poudre Valley School District as well as the St. Vrain School District, all involving students with disabilities on their school buses. In the St. Vrain case, both the bus aide and the bus driver were convicted. So, McKelly, again, this is something we're going to keep a close eye on. All right, Kelly, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.